understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation, Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Adler? Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. I can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust dump. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep Cassine waiting. Hey, Mason. The party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. The safe ain't one of them. Take this son of a bitch alive, Adler. Kasim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him bring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Go, go, go!
Wait, wait, wait! Oh, it's bad. I, I, I just handled the money. I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. No! Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trabzon airfield. Oh, oh. I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. Ah! One down, one to go. I get the next one. Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Mason, check it out. Any sign of the Raj? That's not him. Nope. Incoming truck. Left side. Barrage might be in the truck. That's our man. Oh, 
hostages. It was never about the hostages. His plan is already underway. You won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the west. Hudson will want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? Three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, Vietnam War. Viet Cod soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, no, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. Someone high up wanted you with us in Nam. I didn't think I needed you then, but I did. Now I need you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. supplies will be packed. Bell, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? Good. You just moved up on my favorite team member list. Right past Lazar. You just met her yesterday, right? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, Bell. We're placing key intel up there. One for each mission. Forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. The safe house? I've done time here before. Years back. This go-round? Just a few days now. Ask Lazar, he can't get enough of safe houses. We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. Don't be a stranger. I'm going to need to Bell. process some of his old negatives. Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Gone on about five years. I was born in D.C. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. Dual citizenship has its advantages. You probably know more than me. I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. Yeah. I landed in the Israeli Defense Forces out of university. Did a tour there. After that, the Mossad. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, I'm boss man Adler over there. <laughs> this one is luxury. Fresh air, lots of room. Try being squeezed into a 500 square foot shithole with five other people. Long drive into Berlin is worth it. Believe me. Enough talk. Sims. Heavy bag. Hell yeah. One sec. How are things, Bell? In this case, quite. I understand you may have first hand knowledge that could help us. It must be difficult, Bell. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be. Therapeutic. You and I. It's entirely possible. I have a long collaborative history with other intelligence services. Our paths have likely crossed at some point. Well, 
I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. We'll talk again soon. All right, Belle. 